Today I'm going to have a look at a couple of clips from China and their most recent antics in space. First up we've got this recent EVA where we've got the two stars of the show here about to get thanked for their performance. And of course it is a performance, albeit a very silly one. But it seems like China are promoting a different shaped Earth to the rest of the space industries, and they've been doing so for quite some time. So let's have a look. To the Wentian uh, lab module, we salute you for your wonderful performance. Uh, let's record this great moment, uh, number one, number two, and let's wave your hands to the number one omnidirectional camera. Uh, this is the first time that Chinese technonauts went out of the space station from the airlock cabin. And uh, this is the first time we use. Just think and look at how silly this is. The mockery these days from these space companies, industries, pantomime companies, whatever you want to call them, is off the charts now. And yet still people buy into this tosh. And actually, some defend it. The uh, small mechanical arm, and this is also my first EVA with number two. So we have made so many um, breakthroughs, and we saw the beautiful scenery outside the module. And this is truly uh, very challenging. And I felt that the Chinese space station is getting bigger and stronger. I, think. Mm, I disagree. The performances are getting sillier and sillier. But I'm loving it more and more. Please continue, guys. Thank you very much to my colleagues. I thank you to the support of the uh, ground team. I thank you to all the people in China. Uh, we are in one heart and we march ahead. Despite the hardships and challenges, uh, each uh, step forward is a big giant forward of our mission. And there is nothing that you can expect from the uh, space station of China. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have thought these people might up the stories a bit, get it a little bit more exciting. It's so uninteresting. The only thing that is interesting is how silly it all looks. And of course, we know that fundamentally the globe scientifically impossible anyway. So we know straight off the bat, it's all a silly performance. And then when we look at it, it's a silly performance that has had the mockery level taken to the, the next level. Unbelievable. Now this clip came out two days ago and it shows a different shaped earth yet again. One I'm not that familiar with. So let's have a look. Tell me, by the way, if the piano here sways you in any shape and form. I mean, it is a nice bit of piano, but does that fool me enough or get me emotionally involved enough to want to buy into this tosh? Of course not. But can someone here explain to me what shape the earth is here that China are presenting? Just now we seem to have like a levelish earth. Now we've got, I, I don't know what that is. some pretty weird stuff despite the piano and finally before I sign off let's not forget China's morphing bending of the globe earth when their space station was supposedly orbiting it a few months back you can see the position of the Chinese space station on the map on the right and then we see the obvious issues regarding the earth in the way it's presented, as China are literally flattening the globe for us.